In this video of Oracle SQL, we will cover the primary key constraint. There should only be a single column which can be assigned as a primary key. And when you make a primary key, that column will ensure that it must have a value and the values must be unique as well. So let's try to add this primary key constraint at the column and at table level. So let's see how can we create a primary key for a table. So for that, if I want to create a new table, so create table sample three. And after that, we'll start defining the each column. Let's say call one. And here, uh, just pass the data type. And after that, you can add the primary key constraint like any other constraint. So at the column level, you can simply say like constraint, constraint name, like sample three underscore PK. And after that, the uh, type of constraint, that is the primary key. Since it is at column level, you don't need to specify the column name after that. So you can simply say like that. But if you want, you can apply this particular constraint on the table level as well. So for that, what you can do, you can simply, uh, first of all, done with all the columns which you want to define, all right? Like call two number, and after that, you can simply add the constraint like constraint, constraint name, sample three underscore PK. And here you must pass the column name S since I want to add uh, column one as the primary key. All right. You can also pass multiple columns here as we have already done with the unique. But if you will be uh, passing multiple column, it will not behave like the primary key. It will be behaving like a composite key. So preferably, we should create only one uh, primary key for a table. So I'll not pass any other column here. And I'll simply terminate it with a semicolon. And uh, all right, there is something missing. All right, I didn't pass the constraint uh, type. All right, so let's type ed. As soon as you will do that, the last executed command will be open in the notepad in the editor. And here you can make the changes. If you want, you can start writing the complete uh, command again. So here I'll just add primary key. I will say save control S and then I will close this notepad and you can see the command is written here. The modified command is written here. Simply say semi slash and enter. You say table created. All right. So when you will see the description means the structure of this particular table that is sample three. So here you can see only nautinal. Uh, later we will see like how can we check the description of all the constraints that we have in a particular table. So uh, we'll do that later. But now let's see if I want to create the primary key on an already existing table such as the employees table. All right. And here I want to make this employee ID field as the primary key because employee ID is something which is defining any employee uniquely. All right. So uh, what I'll do, I'll say alter table employees. And after that, add constraint, then constraint name that is employees underscore PK. And then type of constraint like primary key. And here you can pass the name of the column. So here the name of the column is EMP ID. And let's terminate with the semicolon. Again, you can place a comma if you want to create a composite key. All right. Now table altered. If you will see the description of this table, again, you will just find the uh, not written after that. As I said, we'll check later how to check, see all the constraint which you have defined for a particular table. So this is all about the primary key implementation.